Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Toshiba 32 inches LED TV. Model 32P2400E. Not turning on and no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. 73.2 of those watching this channel is not subscribe. Please subscribe now. And if you want to be updated on the new uploaded videos, just hit the notification bell, and also like the videos. So let's get started. This program is brought to you by Lava Moon Bingo Plus. The TV has no power so let's first measure the secondary voltages. The cathode of these diodes is the output voltage, so let's measure it there. No voltage is present. The primary capacitor is charged about 307 volts. Let's set the plug multimeter to continuity mode and check for any shorted diodes that may prevent the power supply not to work. A long beep means a short circuit. None of the diodes is shorted. Discharge first the main capacitor before checking any components at the primary section. Other technicians try to repair the power supply, as you can see some components are resoldered. This capacitor is the VCC supply, let's measure the voltage. Forty two point two seems too high for the VCC supply. VCC supply is about sixteen volts to twenty volts. Forty two point two is not normal. It may be the PWMIC driver is open or damaged, so the voltage gets that high.
the resistance of the optocoupler is high. In some cases if the optocoupler is shorted the PWM will not work. Let's remove the MOSFET. The MOSFET is not defective. I don't have that PWM driver IC so let's modify it using the STRW6053N. Aligning the source which is pin 3 of the STR6053 and to the MOSFET source PCB pins hole. I forget to record while I soldering the drain off the STRW6053N, which is the pin 1, as you can see it's already soldered to the drains tab.
Let's remove the PWM driver IC and solder wires at the remaining pins of the STRW6053N and connect them later to their right connection. We will first connect the VCC which is the red wire and pin 4 of the STRW6053N. Next, the black wire which is the BR and the ground, and pins 5 and 7 of the STRW6053N will be connected to the ground. Next, the white wire which is the feedback, is the pin 6 of the STRW6053N. We have two optocouplers. How do we determine which optocoupler we are going to connect? This optocoupler is connected to this IC. The U201 is an IC, and this optocoupler is connected to this transistor. The Q601 is a transistor. The U201 is TL431. TL431 is an IC of 3 terminal adjustable shunt regulator, so we will be going to choose this optocoupler. The other optocoupler is for the standby mode or for protection. We will connect it here.
All pins of the STRW6053N are now connected. Let's hang the main fuse and place my 220 ohm 20 watts resistor for safe testing. We have a voltage now. Let's connect the motherboard and the backlight. The voltages are 5 volts, 12 volts, and 22 volts. The TV is working even though the resistor is still connected. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. The power supply modification is successful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. You can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing to it. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.